Hey there guys, how's it going? Tails first here with a review of the Verizon eTalk. Lots of people have been asking for Verizon to come out with new options for basic phones that are compatible with 4G. Along with the Alcatel Go Flip, where you can find my review of that phone in the top right card there, there is also this, the Verizon eTalk. To keep it short, if you like a phone for only talk and text, this might be your option. However, if you want anything else, such as web browsing, email, or even YouTube, you might want to look elsewhere. I purchased this phone with my own money over at Walmart for under $30. At the time of this recording though, it's now on sale for under $20. This may change as time goes on. Check all your local stores for prices before you buy. On the top of the phone, you get an LCD to give you time, date, text, and call info, and more. On the left of the phone, you have a micro USB port for charging, and on the right of the phone, you have a headphone jack with a volume rocker. Note the volume rocker does not change the volume while the phone is closed, which might be a plus to some of you. No more accidentally turning the volume down to zero when it's in your pocket. Open the phone and you are greeted with a large LCD, probably the largest of my recent flip phones, along with a large backlit keypad. All the buttons are separated and easy to read. Dialing is fairly easy and quick text can be dialed using standard alphanumeric texting, or you can use the Etox brand of T9 called KT9. Anything more and a call will probably do you better. This phone also supports taking and sending pictures and videos. Talking about that, let's take a look at the camera. It's a 2 megapixel fixed focus shooter. No close up shots here and video is recorded at 640 by 480. This is a test of the audio and video capabilities of the Verizon eTalk. As you can see, it's nothing to write home about, but it works. The phone has a web browser, but you'll get annoyed very quickly from using it. It's clunky, slow, sometimes unresponsive. Simple browsing such as Twitter, YouTube, or even email is very hard to do and is better avoided. If this is a feature you need, you may want a different phone. On the other side, this phone does support HD voice and voice over Wi-Fi. Have a bad connection in your home? Hook your phone to your Wi-Fi in your house and texts and calls are routed there instead of the 4G. No more missed calls. The manual does explain how to do this. As mentioned before, this phone isn't a smartphone replacement. It's more for those who want the basics of just calls and texts and none of the fancy bells and whistles of today's phones. For me personally though, not being able to check my emails or Twitter was a deal breaker, as my other flip phones can do this. But people in my other reviews have been looking for a bare bones device such as this, and this might be it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, if you would get this phone or would pass. Also, don't forget if you have any questions about this phone, I try to answer them all, so please leave them down below and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Thanks everyone for watching my review of the Verizon eTalk, and I'll catch you next time. This is Tales First, signing off. Have a wonderful day everyone.